Hi, welcome to my kitchen. And today I am sharing with you one of my favorite things to do to be able to get a nutrient dense lunch in no time at all. And that is the technique of using my whole bowl. All right, there's nothing like sitting here and eating stuff out of a bowl. It makes me feel cozy and comfy or something. So this is um, a fun technique. So we're basically gonna use four different things to put into the bowl that is going to give us so much energy throughout the day. And it's delicious. Now, the first um, thing that you wanna have is a protein, all right? The protein can be whatever you've got in the fridge. Whether you have a leftover salmon, maybe you have um, some leftover chicken, which is what I have in here, leftover brisket, steak, whatever you have. Or even if you're a vegetarian, you can use beans, um, whatever you've got. Or tofu, organic tofu. All right, the second thing is your whole grain. This is a must, you guys. You guys, I know a lot of people are very, um, you know, low carb and all that kind of thing, which is important to watch how many carbohydrates we have. But the carbohydrate is one of the building blocks for us to be able to have sustained energy throughout the day. The key is having a good quality grain. And this is quinoa, an excellent grain. Another choice could easily be a brown rice, maybe an organic whole grain noodle, um, or maybe even you have some sweet potato left over and you could just chop that up and put that in as well. That would be a great choice for a good carbohydrate. Now, of course, obviously, the third thing is our vegetables. I love vegetables. And the reason I kind of call this a whole bowl, I go in my fridge and I just see what I have. If I've got some stuff, I just put it all together. It doesn't matter if it makes any rhyme or reason. Uh, sometimes I don't always have fresh greens on hand, so I might just put some zucchini or Brussels sprouts or whatever in. Whatever you've got, throw it in the pot. That's my philosophy. So if you're one that's really short on time, be sure and pre-cut some of your stuff, or you can actually even buy stuff pre-cut if, if you should so choose. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm personally gonna put this in my oiled pan. I put a little bit of avocado oil, or you can use coconut oil, and I'm just gonna stick this right in the pan, and I'm just gonna cook it up. Um, ever so slightly. I'm going to show you guys here. I love cooking with cast iron. Now, here's the fun part is that why it doesn't take so long is that you really don't need to cook the crap out of your vegetables. <laughs> You're just wanting to kind of heat them through and I'm going to have some popping going on because it, some of it's wet and that's normal. You're basically just going to cook these through and what's going to happen is many of these, they're just going to turn a bright fun color. One of the things I want to show you guys too, this is so fun. This is a carrot. Look at that. How fun is that? I love playing with different kinds of vegetables and fruit. It's so fun. Um, this I happen to find, um, it's a, it is a carrot. It's just a different color. It's a bright, vibrant, um, I don't even know what color that is. Kind of a plum color. Found that at Trader Joe's. How fun is that? So, you know, don't be afraid to experiment a little bit too when you guys are out and about. That's, I guess, an extra little tip of the day. All right? So I'm gonna let this um, cook up here. I'm actually gonna turn it up just a titch. Watch your temperature when you're cooking vegetables. You don't wanna over overdo that. So while that's cooking, I'm just gonna come up here and talk a little bit about my spices. Spices is kind of everything, you know? Um, because that's the other aspect is being able to give some really great flavor and you also need to kind of combine the protein, the good carbohydrate and our lovely fruits and vegetables. You need a fat to round it out. Fat is so good for you, a good quality fat, whether it's an olive oil, maybe some avocado, um, because what that does is it makes you feel fuller longer. That's what's gonna help you be able to go between meals without starving and having a sugar crash in the afternoon. This is one of the reasons that I actually have gone to cooking like this, um, in the afternoon especially, and because I don't have the sugar crashes that I used to have when I was just grabbing, you know, having a, sandwich with potato chips maybe, or uh, some different things like that. And this is truly, truly gonna be a lovely whole meal. So what I'm actually gonna do, you guys, to reheat my quinoa, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right here in the pot. And as you can tell, you guys, this does not take any time at all. All right, and I'm actually gonna put the chicken back in as well, just to reheat it, unless it's hot and you've already just cooked it. Or you might want it cooler. It's completely up to you. This is so, what's so great and wonderful about um, making this is just whatever you want. It's, these are just the building rocks. The protein, a good quality grain, lovely vegetables, and a good quality fat. 
I'm gonna show you how to add that fat in here in just one second. Once this is kind of cooked down a little bit more, sorry, I'm gonna let that cook just a titch more. Um, I almost always put an avocado in. I love the creaminess that it gives and the texture of it. It's definitely not a necessity, but I do like it a lot. So I get the creaminess from this, I get some crunch from my vegetables, and then I just get the flavor from all the seasonings I'm gonna use. All right, I'm gonna add, turmeric is one of my favorites. It's a great anti-inflammatory. So I'm just gonna add some turmeric in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic salt. I'm doing dry because it's quicker. Um, you can do fresh if you want. A little cayenne to give it a little kick. And again, you guys, whatever you guys like. Whatever seasonings you like, if you love basil and you like Mediterranean flavors or you like Italian flavors, put, put that stuff in, oregano and all that good stuff. It's really just play with it a little bit and see what different stuff you, I can do Southwest if I wanted to. I could add some chili powder to this um, and all that. It's really wonderful. Now is time. I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil in this. I, you don't really need a lot, you guys, and I'm honestly going to turn it off. I'm just going to combine it so it gives it a nice flavor and this is where the bowl comes in sometimes I need bigger bowl than other times but I'm just gonna start spooning it in really quick and you guys can kind of get that concept you don't need to watch me all day put that in I'm just gonna uh, do that we'll boop, take this dump it in and you are ready to eat it's as simple as that so there you go guys easy as pie and if you don't necessarily work from home like me and you feel like, well, I can't do that at the office, I'm at the office all day, you can make this on a Sunday night, just make a big batch of it, put it in individual servings and reheat it at work. So completely easy and doable to be able to eat real foods from anywhere. It just takes a little bit of planning. So if you'd like to see more from my kitchen to yours, be sure and check on the link to receive your free real food recipes.